Watch your head, watch your head. Ah. I'm telling you, the drone just came like that close to good as head. Yeah, Mitch doesn't have a good fucking. Mitch, fun, Mitch, I'm not, I'm not 100 percent on Mitch's drone skills. I've got a gun through, man. So I'm here to see the boys from V2 and we're heading down on a little adventure down to Lawn or Apollo Bay, somewhere on Great Ocean Road anyway. This is the office, is it? True. It is, ma'am. The new digs. I like it. Yeah. Hey, this is a... This is a new corner. Yeah, this is a reoccurring thing. We haven't been in the vlog for ages. Got, you have not been in the vlog for ages. Welcome yeah. back. This is the, uh, the last of our days in this lift together. This is good. Yeah. This is good. This is the cutest lift of all time. Isn't it? Tightest. Fuck you also. 5 kg, eh? Oh. Does that get around? I'll give you a warning. Oh, I hope that was recording. It was. I had five minute parking, so... How long was I there? No, I haven't got a parking ticket. Good, good. You're loving the Jeep, are you? Yeah, the Jeep's great. I've always uh, had a thing for just the look and the feel of these things, and she's a ripper to drive. Is it a she? It's a she. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, the touch and go hound. <laughs> yeah, she's a beaut. She's a ripper. Love it. We are here. We're at uh, the beautiful seaside town of Lawn. And I can tell you what, the surf is up, man. I should have brought my board. I can actually surf, you know. Phil Anderson, who's one of Australia's great cyclists, one of the greatest, he really laid the foundations for a lot of the pro cyclists that are riding in the pro peloton now. He is actually, he lives down in this region. He actually lives in Apollo Bay and uh, he's gonna put us up for the night. So I was like, as soon as Andy said, yep, come along, I was like, I'm there. How you going, bro? You crashed it yet? I'm recording you. Not today. <laughs> You are, what? Talk to me about those glasses, uh, brother. These are the new, uh, semi-new Snapchat spectacles. So, uh, okay. available in LA via a couple of vending machines. And uh, we leaned on some contacts to uh, to get them over here. Mate, that is so good. So you're recording Snapchat right so now. So that's like 10 seconds, 20 and 30. Yeah. And it just keeps spinning until, and then it automatically goes straight to your phone. It doesn't yeah. go to your feed, but it goes oh, straight to your it? phone. And okay. then you just upload it, pick what you want. How good is that? Good job, Mitch. Good Thanks, job. Man. Lawn is basically where the uh, the Amy's Grand Fondo has taken place, and this year they've got a few new rides and stuff. They've got this they've got this dirt ride that we're going to sort of do a, a pre a pre-ride on tomorrow morning but um, I'm looking forward to spending the night with Phil and maybe even having a beer. Beers with Phil. Beers with Maven and Phil. The awesome young lady that was at the surf shop then said to us, we've got to go up to Teddy's Lookout, which in all the times I've been to Lawn, I've never been to Teddy's Lookout. Stunning view, absolutely stunning view. We've got some great drone footage. People are taking photos. Good photo. Good photo.
So we drove for a little while along the Great Ocean Road and uh, got some awesome drone shots. But in between, y, uh, in between uh, Apollo Bay and Lawn, there's this beautiful little town called Y River. And as far as I'm concerned, this is probably one of the better towns to stop at. Would you agree? Yep. Boys are just here, but you've got to have a look. Have a look at this beautiful hillside and the surf. And it's just, there's a real sick little pub behind us that we're going to go have a beer at. It's got it all going on. Yeah. Nah, yeah, I'm all right, eh? Just getting back out here at the pub, down at War River. Yeah, got me moccasin. The only, the only thing I will need... Mate, you're in royalty here, Marcos. Look at this. How good is this, Look hey? at this. How's that kit? Um, who's, whose out. trophies are this? this who's They're this one? They're Anne's trophies. <laughs> They're are these yours? They're all Anne's trophies, yeah. Here, got couple got she knocked you up. You got a couple of trophies there. Yeah, I've got... I've got a lantern rouge. <laughs> <laughs> which, goes, which goes next to the uh, Tour of Britain and Tour of Ireland trophies. Hang on a sec, yeah. and talk, talk to me. Well, what's going on here? Theoretically, every single jersey down there is a leader's jersey. Is a leader's jersey from a tour at one point in time. No way. And Anne, I was more than happy to give them to you as a. <laughs> well, when we built the house, like, was where we were going to do it, so. We had all these jerseys, and being an old retailer, I thought, this, this works, this works. This works, yeah. This works. So, in case you haven't noticed, I'm here with Anne, Phil, Phil Anderson's partner, and Phil Anderson is downstairs. We're in his beautiful house, and uh, I'm overwhelmed with the gold that's shining in this little room here, because there is Trophy Central, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's kind of cool, but kind of crash. <laughs> it's not crash at all. Either. Even the ponytails up there, look. <laughs> Who's, what the, what's Phil's that? ponytail. Oh, get no. it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you I thought that was Gaston me? from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So we were just talking about Phil's haircut, his mullet, right? So he's got the, there he is there. There's the man himself, right? But. He's got his mullet up there. We're just looking. We, can, we can't call it a mullet though, can we? We can't call it a mullet, <laughs> no. A it was, funny, just, a, it was just a long hair thing happening. It's a long there. hair thing. A mullet to me is like at the back, you know, like 80s rock band. Yeah. Just uh, even 70s yeah. when it just straight back, you know. I think uh, Neil Stevens, he has a pretty good mullet. Yeah, he had and a he mullet. And he still sports it. I he think did. he still sports it. He still does, yeah. Uh, but there it is. So that's the old photo. So there it is there. And so you cut it off for what reason? Uh, I was going to meet my ex-wife's parents for the first time, so I thought I'd better uh, trim it back a little bit. So you're, uh... a, true, you're a true gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> but I noticed, mate, those shoes. So we don't have a lot of light here, but you're actually holding. So what year was that? And you're actually holding. Uh, that would have been in the late eighties. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, so they've done a rerun of the shoes. The right. um, Brent Carly, yeah, and um, yeah, that's really carbon sole. But yeah, the top is is uh, you know this would would have been cutting edge uh, Velcro. Yeah, Velcro. Uh, yeah, Velcro, Velcro back in those days. Back in that other days, cutting edge uh, because before then we all had shoelaces and um, yeah to tighten your shoelaces yeah. as you're coming into a uh, towards the finish was Mate, a challenge. They are, they are off the shiz, and so this is exactly what you you were using in that photo. Uh, yes, but Except back then it was a thing. nylon, nylon sole, yeah. which were even more slippery than, um, more slippery than, uh, the carbon. Yeah. So, I, I know, it, that's this weekend. Yeah, yeah, still, so. So, 83. 83, yep. You must be so proud of that. Uh, no, very proud. It was my first, uh, classic, you yeah. know. Um, yeah, no, it was a, for me it was a, uh, big launch into those big one one day races and uh yeah to win the absolute it was uh fantastic you know it was a as, um, especially as an year. aussie too because back as in an aussie days. yeah yeah that's right so i think if you look at the the uh record books uh, i think you uh opperman and uh you know they won some great races like i think it was a, was it bordeaux parry yeah 
you know, we've been talking about the Indian yeah. Pacific uh, yeah, yeah, race, yeah. of course. Yeah. Uh, that was a big race. That was like a 900k uh, race. So, but a lot of it was uh, paced behind uh, motorbikes. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that was like a race which originated many, many years ago. I never did that race. Yeah, uh, you didn't do it? No. Nah, soft, mate. Soft. Mate, it's an absolute honour to even hold this little bad boy. It is the end of the night. They're all downstairs, but this is my little bedroom area, so I've got a little area to myself in uh, Phil's. He's got his study there, but um, look, to be honest with you, to be in Phil Anderson's house, the guy who I used to watch as a kid racing, he's got all these trophies here. He's got He won some of the biggest races in the world. This is so awesome, and I'm so fortunate right now to be here. And uh, I'm gonna savor every moment. So thank you for watching, as always, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're noteworthy. We're still in the, on the iTunes store. Just overtook Osher Gunsberg and Ricky Gervais. No! No yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And I have photo evidence. And a global fund manager has asked him to come and perform? Host. Host. A Sydney and Melbourne event. <laughs> it's f***ing <laughs> ludicrous, is what it is. That is they so don't know good. what. In fact, the message back to them was, are you sure you've listened to our podcast? <laughs> is, this another, is this a mistake? Oh, that is so good. Oh, yeah.